Milt, fantastic Pat. show. Yeah, thank fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you. Milt Reimer, FXR. We're here for the 2018 FXR dealer meeting in Winnipeg. You had a fashion show last night. There was kids skating on the ice. You got so much cool new product, it's outstanding. But you got some new stuff that I really want to learn a little bit more about. For sure. We had like a mo you, you had the mono suit. Like you were the first one to kind of reinvent the mono suit and bring it back out. We all remember the old school snowmobile suits and absolutely cool cat heads or whatever was on yeah. the belt buckle. <laughs> you reinvented that and brought that out, which was super cool, but now you've got a whole new twist on it. Tell me about it. Absolutely. At the end of the day, it's a very technical, specific piece just to that use. And I'm going like, there's going to be a ceiling and a limit there, and, and we need to figure out a way that we can convert a normal suit more into that kind of mono experience. We're having this, fun. This is it right here, and though, this right? Is this right is it right here. Absolutely. So it's, it, it functions as and a one piece, but it can also you. function as, a, as separate items, correct? 100%. Yeah, it's a jacket, it's a pant, and what it does is that especially monos actually are very particular to how tall you are. So if you're about like 6'2", they really fit you uh, yeah. well. But then as you get shorter like me, then they start to really bulge and get uh, get a little bigger around the hips oh, like and the waist. Phil, our camera guy, he gets yeah, a big butt exactly. when he wears one. And also what happens is that as if you're an active rider, with the mono, you end up with the crotch dropping a lot when you're a shorter guy. Okay. And then when you're jumping side to side, when you're doing maneuvers on the hill and the mountain, it starts to limit your mobility. And if you have to dangle a leg, it just limits how much you can do. And by with the pant system, you can still keep the pant more in its appropriate place. So, so then, it rides higher Exactly. Up with a pant, it sits where it's supposed to. It's situated appropriately. And then what we've done is we've created a, a system where where there's a very little of an air gap for the snow to get in. Okay. And, uh, and it zips around 360 degrees both onto the pant and onto the jacket. Okay. And so you can completely... So that's what's giving you that extra flexibility. And that's the link. Yeah, right. Exactly. And it's where a normal wind skirt just... Uh, just sort of sits there and it's friction. But if you lift your arms up or when you're hanging, it rides trying up, to climb then it back there. on your sled, it stays there. Yeah. But we have another product that actually is phenomenal. I haven't even talked to you about it. Just walk right over here. I'm gonna show it to you. And this is an insulated monoliner. Huh. And it's completely removable. And this is our FXR Thermal Dry Active yeah, technology. Like, it looks like the liners. These just a liner and a jacket. Yeah, and you wear this independently inside of your mono or any kind of lamp or uh, shell piece that you're wearing. Heavy duty mid layer. Exactly. And then when you walk in the cottage or something and the place isn't warm yet, you shed the outer layer, but this thing you is still keeping you warm. You walk around this like your pajamas. Total. Come here, big boy. Jesus, now I'm losing his arm. I think I broke his arm. It's dislocated. Hang on. So now you've incorporated that fast technology into a new line, right? Absolutely. Now this is where the crossover riders, the guys that are really adventurous and, and with the long track sleds, they're getting into all these areas now. They trail ride and it's predominant in Ontario, Quebec, and you're, you're getting into some good country, but then you really want to go explore and have fun. You're following the GPS. Beaver ponds. Everything rivers. like that. And you have no idea if it was frozen or right. not before the snow hit. Right. And you're out there boondocking and having fun and all of a sudden things go wrong. So what we did was we incorporated the fast into the body and into the outer arm from here to here and then a zone okay. down here so that it flexes well in the elbow. But it takes a little bit of the sting off when you're going through the trees if you get blasted by a branch. And it's removable. And it's you fully can, removable remove liner, but it, and it's got the ACMT um, second skin, which is like a dual lens goggle and, and resists a lot of the condensation buildup. But inside of that shell is our, is our fast flotation membrane. And it'll, uh, with appropriate pant matching with it, it'll keep you floating and floats really well. If you're in that situation, man, you, you do not care. choose to be. It just all of a sudden happens. And at least you can get out quick. Smart and, stuff. Uh, and that's where you have that chance to, it, it'll save your life. I saw one thing that I really caught my eye though was like a new helmet. I want to go check that Let's out. Let's check it out. It's Absolutely. a new blade, right? New blade. Yeah, a new blade 2.0. And it's uh, completely reconfigured the jaw piece. Uh, there's a bunch of little details. Let's go Let's check go, it out. Let's go look at that. I want to see you. that. You got size triple chubby. 
you've done some new things to it. You've had the blade helmet before, but you've kind of reinvented it a little bit. Yeah, the new blade, we've, uh, we've gone to an integrated mouthpiece, okay. and uh, it's got additional venting ports here. But the idea sort of is just to a, a more uniform structure in the front. It's a little bit stronger, a little bit lighter. Uh, redesign the nose um, eye port trim. And uh, but then also integrates with our goggles better, and a lot of our goggles have uh, the nose pieces. So right. It, it's and that's shaped the key, that like with that. a lot of motor helmets, is like th it's a helmet, but then you have to use somebody else's goggles, and then when you try to marry the two together, there's always gaps and, and holes. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's you have to bust out the duct tape again. It's 1970 yeah. all over again. <laughs> and, 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 and duct tape still works good. Fantastic line once again, 2018. Some good, good stuff. Thanks, Thanks Pat. so much. Really appreciate being and here. I appreciate what you guys do and uh, great working with you. And, we and love it. Uh, enjoy uh, the whole sport, the industry. It's a ton of fun, and we have a passion that's limitless. Who doesn't like snowmobiling? How it's can you fun. not? Like, have you ever seen a snowmobiler not smiling? We should you know, go unless something's we should go broken. We should. Let's, Let's get go out of here. Out of here. Let's go ride. <laughs>